So we're out here in the parking lot of Tokyo Auto Salon. There's a ton of cool cars out here, and we just stop it, maybe. We thought we, you, we, would, we thought you guys would want to see oh, something oh, cool. Oh, shit, he said, get yeah, my shit right. There's a bunch of clean shit in there, and as you can see, this lip's dragging on the ground. RWB out here, right next to a Rolls Royce. Next to a Prius. It's all about that contrast. So just to show you like the density of cool cars in here, that's where we shot the intro and literally right across is like one of the world's cleanest levens. So check this thing out. You got the white on white combo. It's got a god dang electric shades. It's another one right there. I can't make this up, Diego. Look, it's another one. So the craziest thing about a lot of the cars in Japan is that all of them are like clean. That is the first dirty car I've seen out here and it's pretty bad, but the rest oh, yeah. of them look like this. To find a Corolla like this in the States that's this clean. Good luck. Yeah, I think here in Japan, they take so much pride in how their car looks because it represents them as a person as well. Yeah. So they want to make sure it is as pristine as possible. What are you trying to say? You have no honor! All right, guys, check this out. This is an example of an Onkyo Zoku. This is a, a sound van. So you can see it's super low, it's got a crazy arrow, but if you look inside, it also has huge speakers. It's yeah, got, like you can the see the entire rear is just a giant speaker. So that's, that's the one that Gary would jump in and it would rattle his corn roll. Nah. Oh my God. Look at this color, man. They somehow picked a better blue than World Rally Blue for Super. I think this is green, bro. This ain't blue. This is green. This looks like the green off the old uh, OBS Suburbans. Can we acknowledge the god dang roof scoop? The active pop-up, pop-down, mm -hmm. and it works. Look in here, look in there, Mike Diaz, it oh works. Oh my God, it's real. Gary, if this sat in my driveway, I'd be a happy, happy man. Would you trade your baby for this car? No, I'm not trading my baby for any car. What the hell's the matter with you? You nasty, sick man. Can we notice this? This man's on slicks. Yeah, yes. AO52s. Yeah, this man's, this man's on slicks. Uh -huh. I am so in love with so many cars in this parking lot. One of the legendary cars from Japan that you guys obviously know back home, some of you might not, the S13. Now, is this a Sylvia, Gary? Yes. Mm -hmm. How Sylvia, do you know? Look at the front end. Okay. Perfect example. The big differential between a Sylvia and a regular 240 is gonna be the front end. Yeah, so you got you got 180 SX Type X. Okay. Then you've got your Sylvia, you got your Sil 80s, which is a 180 with the Sylvia front end. Then you got your S13, which is your standard pop-up pop -up headlights. Headlight. And those have, you got the shark nose and you got the pig nose. But I'm not here to talk about all the different front ends and variations of yeah, names. Yeah, one VS. Oh, there you go. So there's a button. You there's can go a ton on. of them. Yes. This one because of the brick headlights, yes. Sylvia. Yes. Then and you it's because of the coupe. You've got different versions of brick headlights, but this is Sylvia Coupe. Perfect example, S13 Coupe, old school style, big ass tachometer in the front. Like I said, 180SX. Pop-up headlights, hatch, 180SX. Yes. Over there. Brick headlights, Coupe, Sylvia. Yes. If you want to learn more, just use Wikipedia. It's that easy. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is true. Google it. So this is a Honda. This is a Bills. Honda. <laughs> Nobody in America would spend their god dang money on a Honda. Okay. So what they did is make it an Acura. The Acura mm. being the luxury version 
of this car in America. We've been you, lied to. Yes, it's all, it's damn near all the same. Okay. Nobody in the right mind think about early 90s. I'm not spending 50 grand plus for a freaking Honda. Yeah. But I'll spend 50 grand on an Acura. You, you take that H and turn it into an A. You got to shuffle deal, brother. <laughs> This is probably my favorite build so far. Your favorite build? Yes. Oh yeah, look at this super clean EK9 in championship white mm. with these T37s and the OG bronze, proper AP racing brakes, ready gauges, and this, this whole thing is just set up to attack all the little mini circuits here in Japan, and probably all the toge across the Kanto region. This is like a real life initial D. This now, is the true definition of if Micah Diaz would shut the fuck up. <laughs> Quiet on, oh, <laughs> no littering in Japan, guys. I didn't litter, I used it as a freaking weapon. It's a projectile. Okay, look, so S15s, you're seeing them in the States, they're all over the place. Most of the cars that are gonna be in the parking lot are gonna be clean. This one is clean, but it's used. If you look at the back end of this car, it'll tell you everything you need to know. This tells me uh -huh. he uses it. Mm. Obviously the front bumper, but that could be something that's like, I was driving, my bumper fell off, I dragged it. Now an exploded corner panel, a tagged up rear bumper and tail light. Mm -hmm. This dude drives this thing. This is nice. This is sick because it's used. I like this. Clean, dope paint job, used. Here it is, boys. So, so Mike and Diaz, which model X100 is this? Here it is. I believe this is a Cresta. Good job, Mike and Diaz. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I can never tell a Cresta, Mark II, Chaser. Cre so Cresta in so, the front wait. is fat. Oh, I'll let Mike can Diaz. I educate? Right. Yes, Mike and Diaz, it. educate okay. us. Educate so, us. Let me let me talk to you boys real quick. So you got X chassis, mm -hmm. X73, X83, X90, X100. Super blessed I got a hold of one. Thanks to my boy Gary. You have the Mark II, mm -hmm. like Hertz. And then you have this one, which is the Cresta. And so the way that it works is pretty cool. JZ X100, Cresta is what this is. The first two letters are gonna be what engine's in it, JZ. Or you have a G, like well, I have a G X100. X100 is the chassis platform. And then Cresta, Chaser, or Mark II is gonna be the body trim. So, couple similarities. One is like the grill, they are a similar shape when it comes to the Chaser and the Cresta. Headlights, but the biggest difference between all three of those cars is the back end of the car. They look completely different based off the tail lights. I got Jay-Z X knowledge, baby. There's, Did there's, I miss anything? There's a lot more. Yeah, there is. There's there is. a lot more, but that's one of those things that's like- Are you, you proud of me? I'm proud of you, Mike Diaz. Okay. You used to listen, you made me proud. Listen. You made me proud. I got out of a BMW chassis, so. You did, I'm not, not technically. If you want to know one thing, I believe what I've heard is, is that the JZX100 stole its dimensioning from the E36. So, so I was told. And I'm in love with it. Uh, so I was told, I don't know if it's true. He spreads lies. got Dustin Williams here and he's driving on an American plate. How the hell you get a Mississippi plate in Japan? You know, I got the secrets. What, what is this? This is the Tokyo Drift Evo. Oh, it's the actual one? The one. Literally the one. Really? How'd you get this? I found it sitting in the back of APR's warehouse. Ah. Yeah, so it's sitting there for uh, 15 years. It got back from the uh, the world tour for the movie premiere. Okay. And uh, it wasn't running. They couldn't get to run, so they just let it sit. And I was getting some arrow for another one of my cars, and I saw it sitting back there. And to make a very long story short, I made an offer, and they accepted the offer. And you know, a week later, got my trailer, brought it back home. And I got it running. That's now it's, amazing. Now it's in Tokyo. What a dream come true, though. Yeah, like, I mean, it's I, a once in a lifetime thing. Right. So, yeah. I watched Tokyo Drift, and I'm like, this is the car. Well, it's like, my hero mm. car. I mean, I was in the generation where you know Tokyo Drift was the Fast and Furious movie. Yep. So like, see, like this car in the movie was my favorite car ever. Absolutely. And so when I saw it in real life, I was just like, there's no way this is real. This thing's rad. If you guys want to see more of it, Dustin Williams, he has a channel. Go check please. it out. You can see the whole story. Yes, please.
Diego, we, we just gotta end it here, bro. There's too, it's too many cool cars. Unless they wanna see 24 hours, there's a goddamn Midnight is, Purple is, 2. Oh, is that a Supra? Bro, it's a Midnight Purple 2. Arthur, I can't oh. do this. <laughs> I can't, I can't do Diego. It's too many fucking cars. So this is a GS300. 2JNA. 2JNA. And uh, one UZ for the GS400. Now you have a Toyota V300 Aristo. 2JZ you said, Jolly, turbo. Yep. Twin turbo GTE. This is like the package that you wanna build back home. They have it here ready to go. So what I would do to it, first thing, six speed, turn up the boost. Go slide the hell out of it. Mike Diaz say this until he realized that turn up the boost price costs a lot more than he thought. <laughs> nah, this ain't no BMW. Nah, once you blow it, just build the motor. Oh, this no. thing's beautiful. These so, guys are so OD. Sometimes you don't need a manual. A turbo automatic is mad comfortable. It's okay to have an automatic. No, it's fine. It's fine to have an automatic. There's nothing wrong with an automatic within the right context. Yeah. You're all just a bunch of haters. So earlier in the video, you guys saw the Cresta. This is the another version of the JZX100 called the Mark II. Big differences, kind of like what we talked about earlier. Front end, rear end. The doors in the middle and all the stuff in the center is almost identical. I've been thinking about this heavily of getting one of these and replacing my Prius as a daily with one of these. Which is a great idea. Like I just wanted like a fully kitted, it could be automatic, black out the windows, some beat, Call it a day, it's just something simple. Ooh, the cool thing about the, oh my goodness, I ain't even, sorry, we gotta stay on subject, right? Oh no, okay. yeah, stay on subject. So, I saw what you saw. Diego, I'm gonna, I'm gonna venture off. Now, I don't wanna become a statistic, but <laughs> there's a Dodge Charger here, and, it's, and it looks kinda cool. Did you say a statistic? I don't wanna become a statistic. <laughs> Gary, go look at what you wanna look at. You're, he's distracted, completely distracted. Go, what is it? It's a Dodge Charger in Japan. <laughs> Dominic Toretto. <laughs> I live my life a quarter mile at a time. It's a, it's a Magnum! It's a Dodge it's a Magnum! <laughs> it's a Dodge Magnum! Dude, what the hell? It scares the shit out of me. Wow! Why does the front end look so aggressive? Because they put a Charger front end on a Dodge Magnum. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and a carbon. And an APR lip. Carbon fiber. <laughs> carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber. On a they put a lot of money just, in a Dodge Magnum. Just like an American Stagio. Don't disrespect stages. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is. Would it, would it be? Yeah. Would it? This is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. This is, I'm blown away. I like yo, it. Yo, what's this Mr. Bean looking car? This it's on BBS RS's? Is it really? Oh, it's a Toyota. Look at this. This is a Toyota? I ain't never seen a car that looked like Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Stupid dog! What is this thing? Hold on, I gotta see badges. This is... is this it? is new. A, Whoa, Diego, it is I new. I have no idea. It's a this is a Toyota PT Cruiser, everybody. If you ever wanted to see <laughs> what would happen if Chrysler got their shit together and actually could produce a car that was outside of the SRT program, it would be this right here. NS sex, dude. Kids, wow. Before before we send you home, unfed, unbathed, and musty, okay. we're gonna leave you with one great car. This right the here, the Honda NSX. Wide bodied. Mm. It's left hand drive. It is, which makes this imported and accurate. It's an Acura, right? What he said. I like the uh, old school green Takata uh, harness with matching on the Honda font on the banner. I've never been really one for air ride, but being out here in Japan, the way that guys are able to get their cars on the floor out here, air ride systems seems like the way to go. It's a big old tank right here. I can see the compressor through the back window. This thing is sick. It's got badging that says NSXR on it. What's up, Jesse? I'm pretty sure it's that. You just had to come flex on us, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find a parking spot. Oh, is that Jesse? We lost Gary. It's Jesse from Hey, Jesse. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? How's it going? Go say hi. 
Yeah, I'm trying to find a spot at the head inside and catch this joke about an hour before I go to the uh, underground. Same. All right, he said you got to keep pushing. Okay, All right, my boy. Yeah. We lost them. Everybody's gone, but it doesn't matter because you know who's not gone? Me. I love you. I'm still here. Oh, I never left. left. I just actually came back from the store with milk. Oh, no. But I drank it. I'm lactose intolerant. Now I got to find a bathroom. <laughs> You just saw the sickest parking lot in the world. Honestly, this is pretty normal here in Japan, so we were pretty lucky, but this is just the average day. And it's a breath of fresh air being able to see old cars mixed in with new cars, because yes. we don't have that in the States like that anymore. Mm -mm. But it's coming soon. Import laws, look them up. Don't limit yourself just to Japanese cars. There's a whole globe out there. Hakone Toge in Japan. First of all, the way you pronounce it is Toge. Got a bunch of spoon parts on it. Wraps up to just about 9,000 RPM. 